Wait. What? This is Shree's Daily Global Show, the Shree COVID-19 call. It is happy birthday, Shree. We have, Shree is having his 50th birthday today. And uh, my name is Neil Parekh. I am uh, the executive producer of the New York Times Read Along and uh, VP of Digimentors, longtime friend of Shree's. Uh, myself, Rose, and Vandana have come together to take over Shree's show and um, give him a birthday present. And uh, I, I can't help, I have to bring him on screen because he's laughing and loving it. Shri, we are um, we go we're going to celebrate you today. Um, <laughs> happy birthday! I want to uh, bring on Vandana as well. Um, and uh, as soon as Rose uh, joins us, we'll have Rose on as well. Um, we went to great lengths to surprise you, and, and I'm thinking <laughs> that we we did. You did. Uh, you up did. Up yeah. till the very last minute, Shri thought that uh, his good friend Mitra. Um, was going to be the guest on the show. She, of course, will be joining us, but she is not the only guest that will be joining us today. Wow, well um, so done, we guys. Will uh... See what we can do with this. Uh, please uh, share, please like, uh, please uh, tell your friends about it. Um, we are going to be posting it on various social media channels. Uh, we are live on Facebook, on Twitter, on LinkedIn, on YouTube. And we have people who are already joining us to say hi. Of course, Jonathan Borstein, who's always here. Dory Olds. Hi, Jonathan. Our friend Paula Kiger. I think my daughter is in the background behind me. I'm going to give her a quick. There she is. Jumping. There she goes. Say happy birthday, hi. Emily. Happy birthday. And, and we'll, we'll hear from Emily in a little bit later. Uh, Pradnya and Paula and, and Dory. All these people have come to say hi. But... We want to um, make sure that we uh, get the show off. So Vandana, I'm going to ask you to share uh, the links in our appropriate groups uh, and make sure people know about the show. And we'll bring you and Rose on a little bit later. Yes. Um, and uh, we will go from there. So Shri, um, I have a couple of special guests for you. Uh, and uh, you were expecting to interview Mitra, um, but instead, I'd like to bring on a, a friend of yours, Bill Ritter. Oh my God! <laughs> I mean, big virtual hug, my brother. Big, big. Oh my hug. God! How are you? Wow, Bill, folks, this is. Thank you. This is the great Bill Ritter, who's turning fifty in a couple of years. Oh, I remember oh. when I was fifty. It was uh, twenty years ago. So. <laughs> You got a long way to go, my brother. You got a lot. You know, you share your birthday with some famous things and people, right? The Statue of Liberty from 1886. I did not know that. Bill Gates was born on this day, and I don't know what. I think he's a little younger than I am, but not by much. And and then the great Sri Sri Srinivasan. So that's pretty, you know, from from the Statue of Liberty to Bill Gates to Sri Srinivasan. I mean, which one do you choose you want to spend spend time with talking about the future? Oh my God! I'm I'm so stunned that this hap this happened this happening right now. Thank you so much, Bill. You really were part of the show from day one. You were so supportive, and then you came on episode number twenty something. And that day, people said this must be real if Bill Ritter is going to be a guest. You had COVID in the middle of that, so talk about that for us, please. So always with the interviewing, I I, you know, I had COVID, and I uh, it was a mild case. Um, uh, I had it. I was out of work for. Uh, I was in in quarantine for 17 days, and I came back. I only missed one day on the air. I did stories from home, uh, and it was bizarre. And I, the, my first day out, I went to uh, uh, Mount Sinai Hospital and got tested for antibodies, and I had like a gazillion of them. And so I started uh, in late April uh, giving plasma, and I gave eight doses of plasma. I think we got like 32 people may have done it, uh, may have gotten it. Um, we found three of them who are still recovering, uh, and we are going to interview them uh, for a special on ABC and for and WABC TV, Eyewitness News, um, when they get well enough to feel like they can they can talk about it. So it's but it's it's good. I still have some. I got tested again. Uh, I still have some antibodies left. It, it goes down as we we're seeing in some of these studies, but um, you know it. Uh, 
I, I'm hoping to the, the my antibodies last a long time uh, because it would be nice not to be able to give it to people. I have so many masks. You know, it used to be that masks were hard to get, and I, I've got a gazillion of them, so I I, I like wearing them. Um, I got makeup on them. That's the only problem when I'm on the air. Um, the the yeah, uh, I say, Bill, I, you have makeup because you're about to go on the air, right? In just a little bit. I did. I have to do a tease, and that's why I, I want asked to go first. But let me just say that um, I, I appreciate what you do. I appreciate that you, like we, um, report and look and search for facts and the truth, no matter where it falls. Um, and we won't say that there's no pandemic still growing in this country because, because we won't say that it's not happening because it is happening. And, uh, you know, we, wherever it falls, wherever the truth falls, we have to accept that. And, you know, science, science matters, science matters and facts matter. And, you know, you have always lived up to that. And I, uh, you, you were ahead of the curve in all this stuff having to do with tech and even scans to put your phone on and all that stuff. You lit the way for us neophytes. And I, whatever I know about this stuff, I feel confident that I can uh, do it okay on this computer stuff because of you, Sri, because of you. And without you, I don't know what I would have been. I'd be, be a, a lost old baby boomer asking the youngers to, uh, to type something for me. You're, you're amazing, Bill, and I'm so honored. I know that you have to go. Uh, thank you so much. Everyone should know that I, I uh, what, among the many things I learned from Bill will be something that surprises folks. He, when you visit his house, he makes you take off your shoes. And this is long before coronavirus. Now everybody knows you take off your shoes before you go into your own home, let alone other people's home. But he made me do that. And I'd never seen a white person do that before. And he said, you have no idea what's on the streets of Manhattan. And so that became a rule. We, we had the confidence, even though we were Indian, we had the confidence to do it. If Bill Ritter can make uh, his family do that, then maybe we can do that as well. But one of many things I learned, including what it's like to go from a print guy to become a slight, a small TV guy like I did. Bill supported me every step of the way back at Channel Seven. I, I did the same thing. You know, I was a newspaper reporter for fifteen years. And exactly. That's what that's what I did. And yeah. it took. Yeah. I was so excited when I learned that about you and everything that you you've shown the way for so many of us and. Uh, and thank you for every everything. I'm so grateful. Well, thank you, Sri. And, and your pal Neil did all this, by the way. He did it and and had everything down to keeping everyone's secret. And uh, he's you the are. one who, who you ought to watch out for him because he can <laughs> lie. This guy can lie. <laughs> and and I can also use technology when I need to. Bill, thank you so much for joining us. And pr particularly when you have to do some uh, teasers tonight, uh, fitting us in. Really appreciate it. Thank you. And Sri, uh, love you, man. I really do. And you best to your family. Thank you. All right. See you later. I'm going to hit the leave button now. Yep. Bill Ritter, everyone from ABC. Uh, Shri, but that's just the beginning. We have a number of people commenting on the side. Uh, you can see some of the comments, uh, but you can't press any of the buttons. <laughs> yeah. uh, I went so far as to lock you out of the StreamYard account so that you can't see who's backstage and that you can't hit the buttons. I know um, you did, I know you did. Anil, thank you for being here. Anil Kalhan was a guest twice on our show talking about immigration and uh, so much more, and also helped us set up one of our most memorable episodes where we talked about Hamilton and the law. Uh, Drexel University professor, constitutional law expert, uh, has been uh, a, a great person to follow on Twitter, at Kalhan, please follow him. And Pradnya says, uh, I guess you ask people how- Hi, Pradnya, how do you meet Sri? <laughs> comment, comment in the, um, in Facebook, in Twitter, and LinkedIn. So wow. before uh, we go too far, I'm gonna bring uh, back on our official guest for the evening, um, Mitra. Uh, Mitra, Hi. thank you. Mitra, how did you meet Sri? <sighs> oh, I met Sri, this is gonna sound so bad, over AOL Messenger. Um, <laughs> when he launched Saja, there's a mutual friend, um, Art Pius, who tracked me down when I was the editor-in-chief of the Rutgers newspaper. So I was 21 years old, um, and he said there's a group called the South Asian Journalist Association uh, run by someone named Sri, who you should meet. I was in New Jersey, which, you know, like, felt like a million miles away from New York City, so it took me probably about a year until I finally met Sri, um, but we exchanged emails because Saja at the time was run as a virtual organization and I signed up. And I have to say like, 
you know, I don't usually say nice things about Sri, at least in front of him, um, but it changed my whole life, right? That introduction changed everything. I think it changed both of our lives because we've become friends, but um, more than friends, but I don't mean that in the bad way that it sounds. Um, and I mean, like family, you know, you know what I mean? I hope Rupa's not watching this part. So, uh, but also, you know, at the time, my parents are probably like the most uber liberal Indian parents, but nonetheless, they were uncertain of this career I wanted to enter. And so once I found this fraternity of South Asian journalists, like suddenly everything became possible. Um, and I should just, I mean, you know, Sri unlocked a whole world for me. So again, I don't usually say nice things about him um, because I feel like, we have the type of friendship where we show each other our love and we absolutely probably do nothing for each other, but there isn't anything I wouldn't do for the guy, right? So did that come out right? You know what I mean. No, it, it, it certainly does. We love you so much. You're part of our family. I, I remember uh, Arthur Pius, the late great Arthur Pius, who uh, passed away a few years ago, who loved connecting people, identifying talent. He would do, among other things, he would write an anonymous check to Saja so that journal, uh, journalism students who couldn't afford to go to the Saja dinner would be able to go, and he wouldn't want any recognition. And he introduced us to so many people like that. But he said, this Mitra is an amazing uh, talent. You watch out for her and be connected. And we did. And then you came to Columbia, and you've had this amazing run, uh, including uh, going uh, to the AP, to Newsday, to Columbia Journalism School. Um, you went to India. Uh, you went to the. Uh, you 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 helped launch the Wall Street Journal's uh, Greater New York section, and became managing editor of the L.A. Times. And then you went to CNN, and where you were responsible for almost everything that was not television, all the digital stuff. And then, in an, a stunning piece of news for most folks, about two weeks ago, you made an announcement. So maybe you'll tell us about that. I'll tell you about that in a few weeks. <laughs> Today is about you, Shri. Even when it's your birthday, it's so hard for you to let the focus be on you. So, you need um, to understand, Shri, that we went to great lengths to deceive you. Mitra is not talking about her new venture yet. She does not have permission from her <laughs> current employer. You know, it's like if the NPR people are watching. I swear this is a birthday like <laughs> part of my personal life. I know there's a week to go till election day. I swear I'm working really hard. Um, no, and the other the other thing I should say is that you were my professor once I got to Columbia, which I think you just alluded to. Yeah. And I will share one piece of advice, which is anytime I've been distraught, you've always said to me, you got to report your way out of it. <laughs> and I don't know if you remember that, but like, whether I was covering something and I didn't quite know what to do, or if I'm in the newsroom and I'm trying to navigate a situation, you would always tell me to report my way out of it. And I think that is a lesson that I'll share with your um, birthday viewers. Well, we should talk about, you know, do your reporting, find out the pros and cons, all sides of the story. Uh, it sort of reminds me of Hamilton. You know, I write, he wrote his way out of uh, his troubles, uh, including, you know, he will, uh, as as they say in the in the in the in the musical, what he did, he wrote his way out of the storms and everything else. Uh, I saw Emily was here for a minute. She was yeah. The you want to yeah. say hi, Emily? Uh, Mitra. So then now I, I I hope this means you're promising you will come on our show. Yeah. We're ready to talk and, yes. and talk about that, uh, Neil. I, I, <laughs> I we, I, we I, will I, have you I, on, Mitra. I I thought that this was really going to be a show with Mitra. Uh, so I queued up a whole bunch of photographs and send it to the producers and said, let's show that <laughs> of us partying in Austin, Texas. In <laughs> We had your very uh, uh, unusual office at the LA Times where you had Hindi movie posters like you're having one behind me now, but yeah. In the LA Times, that was like, what a shock to the so, LA Times system to have a street. Uh, editor like that. I'm, I'm going to interject. First of all, Emily was here. I think she just wants to say happy birthday real quick. Can you say happy birthday? Happy birthday. Okay. And she she can't hear you because I'm always using my headphones, but uh, we will hear from her a little bit later in the show. Okay. Uh, but in the interest of time, Mitra, I know that you have you have a time crunch as well. I got um, a little one to get to also, but she, yeah. I love you. I'll uh, I'll be watching and um, 
Well, I don't know. I'll say nice things about you in a few weeks too. Don't you worry. <laughs> Thank you um, so much and thanks for everything. And good luck right. with your election night. Any Anything you can tell us about election night? Well, I think the most important thing is that it might not be a night, right? The elect It's an election season. So I, I feel like that's what people should watch with an eye towards. If you think it's going to be like a sporting event, then I would set yourself up for different expectations. Thank you. Very, okay. well, very well said. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mitra. Hi, guys. Um, so, so we're going to move a, a little quicker with some of our next guest, Shri, because it's only, it's already 918 and We've got a lot planned for you today. Um, I want to bring in Rose and Vandana real quick, um, the producers of uh, your show. Uh, I jumped in today just to help out, but this is Rose and Vandana have been working with you since March, uh, 232 shows, which is pretty incredible. Um, and uh, I wanted to just thank them for all the great work that they're doing. Uh, and they are not just helping with planning this show, but also still tweeting and yep. spreading the word on Facebook, on uh, WhatsApp, et cetera. Um, I'm, I'm so grateful that. for both of them. Uh, uh, they had no idea what they signed up for 232 <laughs> days ago. Uh, every single day, the kind of discipline it takes to do this. Uh, they work so hard with never... Uh, you know, once saying, what the heck are we doing? Uh, I've learned so much because of them, because of the guests they've brought, uh, the energy they've brought, uh, just making, you know, I'm the face of this thing, but they are really the heart and soul. And I'm so grateful. Shri, the same goes for you. Like Sunny said earlier on Facebook, only Shri would uh, try to be the host of his own surprise party. <laughs> Happy birthday, Shri. Oh, thank you so much. I'm thank glad you. we were able to put Semi to pull off this uh, birthday coup. You did. You did. Right. Thank you. I have a question for you, Sri. Did you plan th this, start this show on March 13th so that you could celebrate your 50th on air like this? <laughs> no. <laughs> it it no, only took, you know, 232 days to get here. <laughs> yeah, it only took us all this time. I, I really, you know, along the way, people have seen me be really upset with with the system and to say that, you know, what we thought would be a few weeks, maybe a few months has turned into 230 days, that seven plus months of this pain in this country. And I feel like we have had the three of us sometimes with Neil and other people in our Digimentors team had a chance to actually have a chance to share the voices and share this platform and help people understand. So many people have written in beautiful comments that the show is a lifeline, this line, the show has been helpful to them, but it's been helpful to me to have something to do every single day for 230 days. In the worst 230 days, I'm so grateful to my family, to Rupa, to Durga and Krishna, my twins. I can't imagine, apart from getting the virus, anything worse would be to be 17 and being turning uh, under lockdown, turning 17 with your parents in a Manhattan apartment because it's been They've been so wonderful with me, uh, letting me do this, supporting me as I do this. And uh, to all of you uh, who've watched through all of it, I'm so, so uh, touched and, and very, very pleased and happy and appreciative. So thank you. A very, so, very happy birthday from 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 Medan and I. And uh, we wish you another 50 that will be uh, yeah. <laughs> joyous and less chaotic than um, this one. But, <laughs> Yeah. And thank you, Neil, as well. For of course. Um, without you, this would not have been possible. A absolutely, it was my my pleasure. Uh, for folks, just to remind you, in case you're joining us uh, mid midway through the show, uh, this is Shri's daily uh, co uh, global show, Shri COVID nineteen call. Uh, but Rose Vanda and I have taken it over to serve as guest hosts and producers to celebrate Shri's birthday. It's his fiftieth birthday. Uh, I can see him shaking his head uh, below, but um, you know anything we can do to embarrass him is great. Um, but I do want to. This is what we do with our shows. We always remind people where we're at, what we're doing, um, and you can tweet using Shri Fifty and Shri COVID Nineteen Call about the daily program. Usually, we discuss various aspects of the pandemic, as well as the upcoming U.S. elections. Today, we're celebrating Shri, um, and uh, with that. I want to move on. Um, Shri, we have uh, a number of guests that are uh, getting ready to uh, um, 
uh, celebrate you and to uh, to to show you to wish happy birthday. Some of them are are with us in person, and because I pulled a few strings, you have no idea who's backstage, and it's almost like a, this is your life. Before we go backstage, however, we also have a few videos that have been submitted to wish you happy birthday. Uh, so the first one I want to bring up uh, is from a um, good friend of yours. I believe uh, you know uh, know them well. Um, so let's see if we can pull up a quick video for you. Um, and I'm going to just uh, put this on the screen and hope this gets the audio. You might recognize these these folks. Hi, happy birthday, Sri. We're here at Shenandoah National Park at the top of the mountain. Yeah, we had to come all the way to the top of the mountain to record a birthday message for you, but no mountain is too high for friendship. Yep. Not even Table Mountain. <laughs> oh, by the way, I had no idea we were doing this. Um, we had a great time doing all these trips with you guys from Kenya and South Africa and Puerto Rico and we look forward to the end of COVID so that we can do more of these trips. Mm. Mm. Um, happy birthday Uncle Sri. Um, um, I took, uh, I caught a bunch of salamanders and, w and we, and my mom took pictures of them and we're going to send them to you so you can enjoy this park as much as we can. Yep. Oh, and, and they love sharing the same birthday with you. So oh. happy birthday. Happy Bye. birthday. Bye. A meta moment with, uh, Andrew commenting, uh, <laughs> down below while showing his video. Shri, just to, how, how do you know Andrew? When did you first, uh, meet him? I met Andrew in the fall of 1995 when he came to Columbia Journalism School to teach us something called new media. Andrew had a digital website on uh, a commercial website on the internet in 1994. If you can imagine, I mean, it's, for most of you who won't even can't even imagine that far back. And those of you who were there can't imagine that someone had a business in 94. And Andrew is really my uh, partner, friend, uh, BFF, and the person who taught me uh, that everybody needs a digital mentor in their lives. And he was my digital mentor, my Digi mentor. And that's why the company we founded is called Digi Mentors. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so we have a, another video I'd like to uh, uh, share with the folks. Uh, so we'll bring uh, Renee Elman up. Hi, Sri. I'm so happy to wish you Happy 50th you can birthday, hear, right? and to celebrate this momentous occasion with you, thank you for your generosity of spirit and um, all you do for your friends and family and the news business and New Yorkers and the uh, South Asian community and journalists all over the world. Thank you for helping me uh, sustain myself through COVID, wishing you the most wonderful birthday and many happy returns, good health, lots of joy and many rewards. Love and big hugs, Renee. And that wow. was Renee Edelman, of course. Uh, I, I just want, I want to, to, say to everyone, everyone. Renee, Renee Edelman, Edelman is, is a dear, dear friend, friend hearing, hearing an echo for some reason, reason but not my, my fault, fault. Of, the, uh, of the setup. I would say that um, Renee and I, uh, both went to Columbia Journalism School a few years apart, and she's been a wonderful and dear friend of, of mine, of, of our family. She loves our children. She's watched them grow. And uh, she sent me the most amazing balloon uh, gift and, and birthday gift today. And uh, this message is even more special. Uh, she, Rose, Vandana uh, all got together. And uh, I, I, I've got to tell you, Neil, I. Uh, was resigned to having a very quiet uh, birthday with Rupa and the kids and my dog and um, didn't expect any of this. And uh, I, I'm just uh, so moved. Well, Thank you. If you if you didn't expect any of that, uh, I'm going to hope that you didn't expect, don't expect what's coming next. We, we do have several other videos we're going to show. There's so many comments of people coming in, but I would like to uh, bring on uh, another guest onto the show. I think uh, someone who you know, you've known for, uh, a number of years, um, probably one of your oldest and dearest uh, uh, friends and acquaintances, at least that I know, um, and uh, someone that who you're calling who you're calling old. I, I'm okay with that, but I don't I, know. If I, 
I didn't mean to call Ambassador Srinivasan old. Um, uh, Ambassador, you're muted. Please unmute on the phone. Uh, uh, sorry, on your uh, iPhone so we can hear you on StreamYard. There you go. Um, and and this is just press the unmute button, sir. We, there, you'll get it. Almost, almost, at a, <laughs> Almost. This is like anyone yeah. their parents trying to hit that unmute button. It's it's you have to hit the unmute on StreamYard. Um, you're right there. You're almost there, Acha. <laughs> Hi, Acha and Amma. Love you very much. I know you'll get to it. It's right there. Do you see it? Almost. Almost. Neil, it's un uh, Neil. You're muted now. I'm muted because I'm on the phone with him actually oh. right now. Uh, we've been working on this for a while. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Ambassador, why don't you try and find the unmute button, and I'll pull you back on screen when you unmute, okay? Um, Bye. But but not to fear, because we do have other guests for you, Shri. Um, I'm going to go to, let's go uh, a little north of town, uh, of where we are. Lori White. Friend hey, of hey, hey, happy birthday. So great to see you and so pleased to be on the show with you today and to be able to wish you happy birthday from all of your friends here in Rhode Island. And you have a million of them at the Greater Providence Chamber of Commerce, at the University of Rhode Island, and the Terracani Lecture Series that you and I are working on. So we have we, we just are in such awe, three of you and your team and Rose and Vandana and Neil, and I'm just thrilled to be part of the the family that you have gathered and um, just think that you are such a hero, such a an advocate for journalism and journalists and all the things in this world that are so important, you know, truth and trust and uh, your leadership is just amazing. So we all love you here in Rhode Island, and we send our very best to you and your family on this very, very happy day. Wow. Thank you so much, Laurie. It's great to see you, and I'm so glad we reconnected during the pandemic. Uh, I know that you and Jim and I got to meet uh, your, your wonderful husband, late husband, who uh, uh, fought for journalists and journalism and the right uh, to be able to do investigative work uh, and uh, and and fought for the rights of of journalists everywhere. Uh, we got we we first met many years ago at a conference, and then uh, and then we connected again during the, the during the pandemic. And uh, we've gotten to work. It's been an honor for us and for me, Neil Vandana and Rose, to work on the Tarakani lectures, uh, named after the great Jim Tarakani. That you the 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 program that you've uh, put together at the University of Rhode Island at the Harrington School of Media and Communications. And we we got to do interviews with Nick Kristoff and Cheryl Wu Dunn, and then with uh, the- Ambassador, uh, can you- And, and uh, also with, uh, uh, with Christian Amanpour. And then we have something great coming up exactly a week after the US election day. So if you wanna tell us about that, please. Well, I want to talk about you and um, the fact that, you know, the stars sort of aligned and my husband um, passed away a year ago. He was uh, an award winning investigative reporter, but he learned his social media skills from you many, many, many years ago when we went to uh, Columbia to take part in something that you were presenting back, you know, early, early days. But uh, since his passing and I started this lecture series, there was only one person that I knew that could lead this in a way that would be able to um, gather a global audience and help to really elucidate the comments and the, the, the importance of the First Amendment. So I'm so proud and just so thrilled that you are a part of it and uh, Neil and Vendana and Rose and all of our friends at URI and you've done so much to advance this issue, particularly now during this really important time. So your integrity is amazing. And um, I just feel like you were, uh, the stars were aligned to bring you in back into our world. So thank you so much. Well, thank you. Well, let's, but since we are here, you know, I will want to talk about what we're doing. 
on uh, on Tuesday, uh, November Tuesday, 10th. Tuesday, November tenth. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. What's going on November tenth, Shri? Uh, we're we're going to be doing an incredible oh, uh, Tarakani lecture uh, where we're going to um, have multiple guests who are going to talk about the importance of the First Amendment, including Dan Barry is going to be with us, who uh, was uh, someone who wrote about Jim's. Uh, efforts on behalf of uh, of of, of uh, the importance of protecting your sources and the First Amendment, and uh, had the honor he did of of serving as a pallbearer at uh, at Jim's funeral, and then we'll have uh, uh, various journalists who will uh, talk about the First Amendment, and you know we're talking ten days after the a week after the election, ten days from now. Who knows where we'll be with the elections, where we'll be with the media, with rights in this country. And I think they're more important than they've ever been. So it's a special honor for us to work on the Tarakani lectures with Laurie White Tarakani. Thank you, Sri. Looking, looking forward to it. And uh, I'm sure that you will guide us extremely well. So again, happy birthday. Laurie, thank you. you so much for joining us. Really appreciate it. Um, so, uh, we were able to work out your parents' mute button. Hi. It's Hi. your mom as well, not Hi. just your dad, Shri. Is it okay? Yeah. Can you hear us? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, all right. Very good, very good. Well, we, you want to know how, where we met him? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> That's what I was trying to say. You can hear me, right? You can hear me? I met him. I, I tried saying one of his oldest friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. be careful. They can call you old, but not to call other people <laughs> old. Uh, yeah, my old I, man I, and my young mother. Look at my mother. Look how young she looks. Even my dad. Look how young uh, they look. <laughs> I, uh, they. My dad was a dad at twenty-four, I think, and my mom mm -hmm. even younger than that. And uh, we're just—it's uh, been an amazing ride. Fifty years. I used to tell my dad that I thought thirty was old. So when he—I remember him turning forty. And I thought that he was really old when he was 40. And now I'm 50, which is uh, <laughs> stunning to me. Because and, we always think like, that the father is very old and he doesn't know anything. He has forgotten <laughs> everything. You know, that kind of feeling I had about my father. How will I ever improve, I used to think. Uh, but he knew much more than I, I did. And that I realized only later. Yeah, so... Maybe. Yeah. Anyway, but having a 50-year-old son is a great thing. Very yeah, blessing. In Tokyo, <laughs> in Tokyo when, they, when they nurse said, even at Toko, I was so happy. You are the baby boy. <laughs> yeah, she yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know if we have any of those photographs, but uh, you were happy to have a boy, but you really wanted a girl. In all my childhood pictures, I am dressed yeah, like a girl one, with, 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 with the baby just, and uh, beauty yeah. spot, as you call it. She wanted um, a dance partner. Yeah, I not the not the Western dance partner. She wanted a girl. Shri, you're you're wondering whether we have uh, any pictures, right? Is that what you're you're asking about? <laughs> yeah. Well, let's see what we can do here, um, because he we have be pictures. Having... I'm almost afraid to ask. <laughs> uh, be afraid. Be be very afraid. Um, Give me a moment to uh, oh, here, to bring my, it up. My mom has a picture. Yeah, right there. Look at that. Oh, There's right there. One. Yeah, that's a great. I love that picture. Yeah. So um, hold it to the side a little bit. Hold it. Yeah. There you go. Look at my mom. Look at that beautiful lady and uh, her the, her beautiful daughter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, even it's that the most photographed so, photograph of our home. Yeah. And you're wants to take a seven in the morning. How is how are things with COVID in Trivandrum? Yes, yeah, better than the United States. That's all that we can say. <laughs> so <laughs> watching sad. CNN, so watching CNN, we are horrified. Yeah. What's going to happen? Shri, My God. We have oh, pictures. This is connection. Yeah, you do. <laughs> this is that connection. Um, and uh, I think that yeah, one's a. <laughs> Good one to start with. Yeah, and, look at uh, that. they really wanted a girl. They really wanted a girl. <laughs> this is my favorite of uh, you and your mom. A uh, couple of older pictures of Shri. Uh, you were speechless at one point, apparently. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then, and these are my cousins. Uh, and these are this is a, a, a photo 
uh, slideshow that Rupa put together for a surprise birthday yep. greeting the other day. These are my wonderful cousins in LA and their nephew and my wedding and my brother's wedding. And uh, that's <laughs> that was the end of the show. Look at that's, that. I, I did edit the show a, a little bit, Shri, uh, to uh, protect the innocent. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but wanted to give a little bit of that flavor. Like Auntie, I would be remiss. If I know my mom is a big fan. She watches all of Shri's shows and always says hi when you're when you say hi you, early in the morning. Uh, so Sudha Parekh uh, want, wanted to oh, make sure that she course, had a chance to say hi. Um, oh, yeah. And of course, as I tell everybody, I knew Ambassador Srinivasan before I met Shri. Uh, yes. My dad, yes. you know, of course, uh, my dad Prakash Parekh uh, sent me to his wedding reception in D.C. <laughs> because he couldn't come down and said, my my son's friend is get, uh, having getting married. Just please stop by and <laughs> bring good wishes from the family and i went through the receiving line and said are you, hi are you able to get through there was such a crowd many people <laughs> it was i waited <laughs> almost as long as we have to wait to vote you have to wait to to say hi to shri and rupa well um, we should just point out to the white people listening and horrified by this it is not unusual for you to have people at your wedding you don't know the wedding is more for the parents to invite their friends, their friends. Yeah. More, than, more than for the couple so that's what happened and so neil wasn't gate crashing he was invited uh as as a representative of his father and mother and uh, that's how we met we met on the line and he said you don't know me but uh i'm here on behalf of my father and i knew but you met the father. you met the entire diplomatic corps in washington <laughs> and uh <laughs> Ruba was looking astonished All and kinds i, want, of I wanted to <laughs> Take this chance to just to say about Neil's father, who was a very uh, in, in, important part of the uh, South Asian community here for many years, along with Sudha, his wife, and Neil's mom. Uh, they they did so much to give life to the community here, to give it the foundations uh, that have helped it thrive uh, now in the U.S. Uh, by the way, a stunning headline in in foreignpolicy.com today about how Indian Americans in Texas are going to play a role in helping decide the fate of that election just tells you how much things have changed since the days that Sudha and uh, and uh, and Neil's father and everybody were involved in in everything that happened uh, Prakash Parikh is is Neil's father's name he passed away about a decade ago just yeah. just, just this month and uh, my parents I think know this that uh, part of the reason Neil has been involved with me in doing the New York Times read-along is because his father instilled in him a love of the New York Times and just news and newspapers in general. His father went on to become publisher of News India Times. I still remember when we arrived in New York in February of 1980, one of the first things my father did was subscribe to the New York Times. And I still remember the thud of the paper landing because in India, papers also land, but they're not as thick as they are uh, and certainly were back in the day on Saturday and Sunday. The big edition would land with a thud on the front door. And now Neil and I are celebrating five years of the New York Times read along uh, this month. We've had some amazing guests. And I will also say a story that I share because Neil has shared it. His father, when he passed away, asked to be cremated with the Sunday New York Times print edition in his, uh, in the casket. And so I'm so tired, I get goosebumps even as I say that now and say to you, Neil, that uh, your dad I know is smiling as he thinks about uh, about us uh, doing that every single day because of the love he instilled in you in the news the way my parents did in me with the news as well. Yes, we you. learned selective, selective reading at that time because I, I used to wonder how do I go through all these newspapers? all these pages, but uh, now you know how to read the New York Times. So. <laughs> and then Sunday, of course, we have the blessing of hearing you. But the best thing about the about COVID is that I we see our son live every morning when we get up. We don't care what he's talking about to whom, but to see him. <laughs> I, I sign up first thing in the morning. <laughs> yeah. Which is great. She's searching for her phone as soon as she wakes up. <laughs> it's all over the place, but um, first thing then she it starts off. So this has been a great blessing. So I, and hope I will the COVID say it doesn't continue, but uh, hope your shows will continue so that we can see you every morning. That's a great thing. Ambassador and, and, family. And, <laughs> and like Auntie, I will say that, yeah, and I think you. you know this, uh, 
that Sri is always talking about how he wishes he could go back to India to be to spend time with you and to be with you. Yes. And it uh, pains him dearly that he can't do that. So I'm hoping, thank you so much for joining us in person. Yeah, thank you. Both thank of you, you on camera. Yes, um, we have been dreaming about it. Since yeah, I, I would say, Neil, uh, what, <laughs> what you're saying is, is it's so important that one of the things that I, what makes me so mad about what has happened in this country, we have failed as a country to contain the virus, to take care of Americans, and as an extension, have therefore shown the failure of America in so many ways, its economy, uh, its economic uh, situation and everything else. But uh, personally, the two things that upset me most is that my twins are stuck at home when they're, when you're 17, you should have that final year of high school should have been a different experience that they're having now. And that I would have seen my parents twice at least in, I would have gone to India. They might, I was hoping, would have come out to my 50th. Yes, we are getting ready for the 50th anniversary. And, uh, yeah, uh, we're not able to do that. And that uh, pains me so much. And I lay the blame for that at the feet of this administration and this. No politics, please. No politics. No politics. <laughs> it's all politics, sir. It's all <laughs> politics. Uh, especially with the elections coming up. We should remind people to vote. Make sure that you vote early. Drop your ballot yeah. off. Don't yeah, leave it in the mail. Uh, more than anything, this is the most important election of our lifetimes. Ambassador as uh, Lake Anti, as I wrote, as I wrote yesterday, poetic justice will prevail. That's only hopefully. Hope. Thank you so much for joining us. <laughs> Thank you. Really appreciate Thank you. it. Thank you hopefully, you can stay and and continue to watch. Yes, you. That was well, the I'm hardest here. thing to do, Shri, to cut that off, uh, certainly, as you know. But um, we do have several other uh, videos that I want to show uh, from people who wanted, who couldn't join us this evening. Uh, one of these is from uh, your friend, uh, Juntai. Hey, Sri. Happy birthday. Uh, this is your 50th. I, know, I don't know what they call the 50th birthday. I know they call the 30th, 30, 30. So I guess this would be nifty 50. <laughs> Happy nifty 50 birthday, Sari. I hope you are enjoying it. Much health and wealth to you in the upcoming year. Talk soon. Thank you, folks. That's Junte Delane. He's um, an amazing social and digital media expert. His agency, Digital Delane, and his website and the branding uh, institute that digital branding institute that he created is amazing. I learned so much from hello, him every hello, day. Hello. I'm honored to have him as hello, part of hello, our, hello. our yes, set of friends birthdays. and supporters. So thank you so much, Junte, and thank you everybody for uh, bringing Junte on board for that too. Um, and uh, moving along, there there are a few other videos I want to on a show. Um, so the next is Emily. She actually did record a video earlier. Um, you I might recognize saying, happy. Uh, hello. 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 She likes making fun. You, of you could hear that. That's that's the opening of your show, Shri. Hello. 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 Happy birthday, Shri. <laughs> I made a nice poster for you. It says happy birthday, Shri. The Shri is in capital letters and there's a lot of stars and a cake sticker. And now I'm going to sing happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. And now, okay, um, I like um, that vacation to Fire Island, even though I have no idea why it's called Fire Island. Does, does it have fires there? Probably not. Bye-bye. Na-na-na. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, that's our friend Emily, who has the distinction of being the youngest uh, person to be a regular guest on uh, a, a featured guest on our show. She uh, was here to talk about what it's like to be a seven-year-old in the during the pandemic. And even, I remember one of the things thinking about when she was on a guest. It was uh, probably three months ago, four months ago. Thinking, are we are we rounding some kind of corner? The way we're now being told we're rounding the corner. We're at the highest number of cases, and I feel so sad for young people like her and their childhood. We hope it's just this one year, but um, I'm so worried for all of them. 
Uh, absolutely. Um, and uh, I will say when she heard that I was uh, organizing this for you, she very much wanted to be a part of it, uh, making that poster, recording of a video. Uh, you might recognize uh, Flipgrid. I set up my own account and learned how to use it just for you, Shri. Uh, again, we're all going to great lengths to uh, make this a special day. Thank you, you um, did. You also went to great lengths to hide all of this, so I appreciate I, I hid, that. I hid all of it. Uh, we did a, a separate card for you that you couldn't see. Um, what I'd like to do now is uh, bring in uh, another uh, guest who's here in person, uh, who uh, you don't know who's backstage, which is great. Um, someone who means the world to uh, both of us, um, Sonny Slaughter. Hey. Happy birthday to you. Okay, so I'm older than you. Uh-oh. <laughs> and you have to listen. Only you. Only you could not let this be about you because that's who you are and you are so amazing. Do you know how much we love you? You are loved around the world. When Neil sent me this invitation. I was like, yeah. And then I got pressed to the line. My hair wasn't done. I had no, I still have no makeup on, but I just want you to know that Shri, you are one of the most amazing people that I have ever, ever met in my entire life. You and Neil are my brothers and what you have done during this pandemic. Um, as we roll out of this, I know there has got to be some award that they will give to you and Neil and the team, but you are the face, the voice, and the leader of a movement that's so passionate, so purposeful. You are, I used to call myself the master connector, but as a birthday present, I am going to dub you the global master connector. And on your 50th birthday, know how much I love you, how much you mean to me in my spirit. Um, you have transcended the voices of diversity and inclusion in a way that no one else could ever do. You have taken Black Lives Matter and made it not just a movement, but a message in a moment where we needed a voice and a platform. And you allowed me and so many others to speak, to give us, to give us air, to give us breath, to give the movement life in a way that no one else could. I'm trying to keep, you don't, you don't know what you have done for so many of us. And Neil, oh my God, when Darlene introduced me to you and then the show and then Shri and all of the people in this wonderful family that we now have, you know, I was kind of alone here until all of you. So for me and my family, wishing you the blessings beyond blessings beyond blessings on your 50th birthday. Welcome to the club. Know that you are loved and celebrated. You are a masterful wizard of communication and voice. You have liberated us all. Oh my God, Sunny. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you for your words, for the platform, for the opportunity, for your very presence in all of our lives. I am humbled to be just on the margins of the circle of your greatness. You have only just begun. And for all of us to be connected to you is beyond a blessing. Neil, you know, I love you dearly. I cannot wait to see what we do next. 
I cannot wait to see what you do next. Shree, you will do and have done so much. You know this is only the beginning. Sonny, you are an amazing person. Uh, Robert Anthony, our friend Bob says it right back at you, Sonny. You have helped so many of us. Uh, people should know this, that- uh, Don't you I, talk about me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm gonna talk about you. I'm gonna talk about you because people should know that when we, when, when um, uh, it was a Monday evening, you were, you came on the air and you were so upset. We didn't know why you were upset. You were live on the air on yeah. your own platform. We didn't know what was going on. I was in the middle of something else. And I said, Sonny is really upset. We need to find out why you had just heard about George Floyd and what had happened to him. And you were saying so much wisdom it through your pain. You were sharing that. And um, we then... Uh, we're blessed to have you on our show. It was our 80th episode of this oh, series. Yeah. It's now 230, so 150 plus days ago. Yeah. You came on the air and you shared with us the pain so that everyone could understand why we all need to pay attention to what's happening. And you saw that not just the awfulness of what happened with George, but the ramifications of that and, yeah. and how this country uh had an uh, an awakening in so mm -hmm. many parts of it unfortunately we had a counter awakening of the worst of the of this country also came out as the best of this country came out yeah. and we've had uh, at least one candidate uh, for for president who has been saying the worst possible things and using the best that of america are yeah. rising up and speaking. My twins, I just, one of my uh, children just walked out. They took me to a protest when I was scared of the virus and they said, no, we have to go. We have to be there. And I kept thinking about you in that episode. If anyone goes to my YouTube uh, screen oh. where all the episodes are, the featured episode is that one, number 80. We called it a horrific week in America. And then that Sunday, this lady, Sunny Slaughter, came on our show with with our 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 friend Joe Stigler, yeah. Nobel laureate in economics, and he listened to you, and listened to you talk about one of the things that I will never forget. You said instead of calling your black friends and saying, "What can you do now?" You ask yourself, "What have you been doing all these years? Why did it take the death, the killing, not the death of George Floyd, the killing?" of George Floyd for you to do something and to ask these questions. It's been uh, so special to be with you and to have you in our lives. And we're so grateful to you, Sonny, and for coming here tonight and sharing this with us. Here's what Therese says, I will never forget the show with Sonny, which I, I shared with all my friends and colleagues, so powerful. It's featured on my YouTube, it's episode number 80. Please watch that. Go back and watch the New York Times read along with Joe Stiglitz and with Sonny Slaughter, both of them talking about race together, a moment that I hadn't planned, Neil didn't expect that they would talk about the 50th anniversary of the Kerner Commission. It turned no. out Joe Stiglitz was on a on that commission yeah. and they're talking about how badly the Kerner Commission had failed and how they had failed 50 years later, and here we are today. But your episodes will live beyond infamy our my granddaughter will be able to watch them and and now i was talking to her and told her ma i said i gotta get off <laughs> but my granddaughter and all of our children will be able to go back and look and i just really just want to say happy birthday i'm so grateful you know neil if he thinks i'm in trouble and if you say neil will be like oh hell i'm not i'm not i'm calling <laughs> when i got sick not too long ago Neil was, he said, uh-uh, I got the message, but I got the message from Paula, but I'm calling. So I'm getting better. I love you guys. Neil, this is such, you are a master too. So, hey, we got we roll. masters here. I mean, you guys Sonny, are amazing. I'm not going to let you go. He's pointing out the comments. Sonny is truly a great leader in our community. Oh. Shree, you as well. But oh. I'm not going to leave you. 
I'm All not right. going to leave you uh, without A. Uh, there is no force equal to a woman. What's the rest of that? Oh, determined, determined to rise. To rise. And rise, you have winning an award from the Black Caucus of the American Public Health Association just yesterday, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Um, Sonny, all congratulations to you. All best wishes. You know how important you are in our lives. And yes. this is the worst thing that I have to do is to cut you off and move <laughs> on. I, 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 this is the worst part of the show, but. 9.58, and we're only halfway there. Um, <laughs> Sunny, thank you very much. Guys, <laughs> enjoy your birthday. Love to the family. Help me all. <laughs> the hardest thing in the world, Shri. Let's go to a couple of videos. Our friend Timo from uh, uh, World Teacher Day, uh, this 24-hour show that we did, right? In Brussels. For Education yeah. International from Brussels. Shri, happy birthday. Um, Many happy returns of the day. Hope that uh, one day when all this virus business is over, we can actually celebrate in person and not only virtually, but all the best uh, and uh, see you soon. Wow, so beautiful. Thank you so much. Uh, it's one of the amazing parts of the pandemic is that Neil and the rest of the DigiMentors team have been able to do amazing projects, including a 24 hour live stream uh, uh, with Education International celebrating World Teachers Day. Happy birthday. And uh, we have another video uh, we want to show you, Shri. Um, Thank you for all the this, comments. I'm not having a chance to read them because I'm not in charge today. But as, great to see Garish. As we tell our guests, please go back into Facebook afterward and respond to people. They would certainly appreciate it. Uh, this video is, is a little closer uh, to home, I believe. All right, Shri? Down the, um, down the hall. Down the hall. Happy birthday! Happy birthday, Shri. Thank you for being on our floor. Best one, neighbors. One thing great about Shri is his big heart. For example, he's given all his birthday balloons Look to at, all show the kids. kids they, are, they love it. To our little babies. They're so. having the best time. Thank you so much. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday! Happy birthday! <laughs> I love that. I love it. Thank you so much. You got to love when kids get into the act, right? Those were the balloons that Renee and Rose and Vandana and Merv sent over. And uh, I said, those, those, we have kids on our floor who need them more than me. We got a great photo and then we passed them on to them. So thank you for bringing them on. One more video before we go back to live guests. Uh, our friend Ron Thomas from Dubai. Good morning, uh, 843 in Dubai. Um, happy, happy birthday, Shri. Uh, we met at your social media weekend at Columbia University, I'm going to say back mid 2000s sometime. And uh, you were gracious enough to invite me to that, and it was a great event. And we have kept in touch since then. I've been a guest on your show. And I am a big fan. I am amazed how you can produce so many shows back to back. But when you have the A team behind you, you are able to accomplish all things. So have a great day. Have a great uh, birthday. And I will be listening in this afternoon, specifically for the obituaries. Uh, so thank you very much. And happy birthday. Thank you. Ron has been a wonderful friend. And he's a sponsor of our New York Times Read Along. And uh, he's talking about uh, on this past Sunday, we had Amy Padnani on our show. She's the Obits editor of the New York Times and just was an amazing guest uh, talking about how they put the Obits together. And she was a creator of the Overlooked section of the New York Times, uh, which is an amazing series for women and people of color who were ignored by the New York Times. We learned, for example, that Ida B. Wells did never got an obituary in the New York Times, but she was prominent enough that when she got married, that was covered in the New York Times, but not her passing. So we learned a lot. Please go back. You can find that also on our YouTube channel, Srinet. You can find uh, this week's New York Times read along there. And uh, here is Sunny saying <laughs> that only I would try to be hosted. Yes, I, I am trying to do that, I admit. And, and I'm leaving mostly leaving the comments to uh, Vandana, but I do want to put this one up from your father. Uh, what an absolute honor for him to say that. Uh, uh, Ambassador, uh, thank you very much for 
joining us today. It was a, an absolute uh, pleasure. Um, sticking with the theme of, of family, Shri, uh, you have a lot of family uh, that we could uh, call on. But um, uh, first, I'm going to show this video. Uh -huh. Right? Uh, Deepa? Hi, Deepa, yeah, uh, from, the, from uh, uh, Baltimore. Yeah, she's yeah. your sister. Who I had the pleasure of meeting as well when you came down to Baltimore a few years ago. Hi, Kiku. Happy birthday. Wishing you a wonderful birthday and um, 100 more years of doing all the wonderful things you do to my um, to my brother uh, and my pillar of strength. Happy birthday again. Have a great year. Bye bye. Oh, so sweet. Thank you so much, Deepa. And uh, thank you, Neil, for uh, asking her to be on the show. Uh, abs absolutely. Uh, the um... You know, the number of people who wanted to be a part of this are is incredible. We have a couple of people who are putting in the comments where they first met you. Uh, so Vandana, we'll, we'll let you uh, run with the comments. Uh, Lippy Roy saying happy birthday. She um, stopped by today to see me and uh, I'm kind enough to bring a gift. And uh, um, she was the very first guest on the show, episode number one. Uh, I needed a doctor to be on the show. And one of the things that happened I think you know the story, Neil, is that an anesthesiologist called in. It was that time it was a call in. It was an audio show, a conference call. And an anesthesiologist in Virginia called in and asked the doctor a question, asked Dr. Lippy Roy a question. And that's how we knew we were onto something, that this doctor, in, this physician in Virginia uh, could turn to something that didn't even exist yet and ask a question. Uh, Dr. Lippy Roy, we're so proud of you. You've gone on to become a contributor at MSNBC and NBC, and I see you on the air with Joy Reid and uh, and Mor Morning Joe and all these amazing shows, and we're very proud of what you've done, and I saw her just today. So thank you very much. Socially distant and in masks, we, we saw each other today. Um, so thank you. And then we have uh, Shiva Ramesh uh, wishing you a happy 50th. Um, they heard a lot about your uh, during your years in Japan, um, so that was that. That's great. So much gratitude. So many uh, people you, wanting Lambert. to thank you for your kind comments, he Lambert, our, as well. One of our students at Columbia Journalism School. Thank you, and a loyal viewer. So thank you for that. Uh, so let's go to another uh, another video. I'm just going to tee that up um, and bring uh, David Beard onto the, the screen. Hey Shri, here we go. Happy birthday. There's a few things to remember the first 50 years of your life with that we've been together with. Discovery, parties, five guys, walking the dog, um, let's see, social media weekend, Pulitzers, uh, Shorty Awards, Boston, New York, Dubai, San Francisco, LA. Uh, did I say Discovery? Um, anyway, happy birthday Shri. Let's see what mischief we can get in the next 50 years of your life. Thank you. David Beard at Dub Beard was a guest on the show talking about newsletters. He's the editor of Nat Geo's newsletters. Uh, I learn from him every time I'm with David. Please follow him on Twitter. You will learn every day from his tweets. And he listed all those cities we work together in LA, San Francisco, Washington, Boston, Dubai, and New York. Uh, and we we did all these exotic things, but going for a walk with him in New York with our dog uh, was as important as, as anything exotic we did. We even interviewed Jill Biden together. Um, uh, hopefully she will be the next first lady of the United States. Deepthi uh, had a comment. Uh, she still has the first email that you sent her back in 1997. <laughs> Um, at the dawn of email, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah. Uh, and Linda and, says I met, yeah, she met me because she needed someone to write an article about tech, tech for Sesame Street parents. I remember that. I was so honored to write that article. And uh, she tried to pay me for that article. And I just didn't submit the all the proper bills and things like that. But yeah. we've gone on to, we reconnected then over social media. And she was a student in one of my classes and has become not just a colleague, but the VP of education for DigiMentors. Uh, so uh, there's an example of someone who was a, a colleague, a student,
colleague again and just one of my dearest friends. Thank you so much, Linda, for being part of my family. And of course, Diana uh, talked about how they met. You met in the early days of Saja. Uh, apparently, an ex-boyfriend was involved in uh, bringing you together, but uh, uh, she married Saja instead. Um, and it's been great to have Diana as part of. Uh, and she was on friends. this episode on a Sunday night positivity because you will not meet a more positive person than Diana, even when life throws things at her, and she will always bounce back, always be positive. And uh, she, please find that episode on my YouTube channel. Uh, it was so funny, but with filled with wonderful moments. We surprised her, but by bringing her husband in and uh, surprising, they hadn't really had enough time to talk to each other. So we stepped out and then they talked to and about each other, which was great. I see Dr. And Curry in here. Dr. Curry is here. Giri uh, Garaja uh, met you at a quiz at IT, IIT Delhi, um, where <laughs> The answer a music question before you and you were jumping up and down apparently. Yeah, um, I was not a good quizzer. Quizzing, by the way, Neil, is huge in India uh, in a way that um, will surprise Americans. You know, Americans have Jeopardy and other game shows, but quizzing at a much higher uh, level of complexity and Giri was one of the greats in India of our era. And I do not remember the question, but I, I know uh, Giri will because he's got an amazing brain. Let's hear from uh, Dr. Kurian. Um. Sri, happy birthday, happy 50th. And um, sad to say that I probably have known you for at least 40 of those 50 years, if not longer. <laughs> and I just want to wish you the most happiest birthday. You have accomplished so much. You have brought so many people together and to do incredible things, including working with me and Sujana and the whole team in you that you have made so many introductions to so many different people over the years and elevated all of us and I'm just so thrilled and happy to celebrate with you and happy birthday once again. Uh, thank you so much. I don't get a chance to say enough nice, nice things about the Korean family. Marina and I indeed have known each other for 40 plus Hi, years. Uh, her her father and mother are amazing pillars of the Indian community. Uh, and uh, her father well, worked for Pan Am Airlines and was known as Pan Am Kurian. And anybody who would come lost in New York as we were in those days when you landed at JFK, everybody knew to go see Pan Am Kurian if you needed anything and he'd be right there. And he called me yesterday, Neil, and we had a wonderful conversation and so it's uh, great uh, and an honor to talk to every day to work with Marina, uh, every week to work with Marina and Sujana. This is the other surgeon friend of ours who have a show. She's on call that we put together with Rose Vandana and Julia Weeks, another part of our team every Sunday. And that show is now on WBAI twice a week, plus our show on Sunday. So thank you, everyone. Please follow at She's On Call. And the co-host of She's On Call with Dr. Marina Kurian, Dr. Sujana Chandrasekhar. Hi, Shri. Happy pandemic birthday. Thank you so much for teaching me about he for she and about mantles. I was able to go back and teach my ENT societies about mantles, and they were able to become he for she. And that really changed the world as we ENTs know it. Thank you for letting me find out that we can find great happiness amongst the pandemic sorrows for finding out our strengths during this time and for letting me teach you about PPE. Have a very, very happy birthday. Stay safe and stay healthy from Sujana, Chris, and our family. Thank you so much, Dr. Sujana Chandrasekhar, a dear friend. You know, on, on, on social, I'll say that my friends and surgeons, Sujana and Marina, that sounds odd. It sounds like they're my surgeons, but they're my friends who happen to be surgeons. And she and her husband, Chris, and I have a whole, you know, uh, uh, technology relationship uh, and their son uh, and, their, and their wonderful family, their children. And uh, Sujana, thank you very much. And she was an early guest on this show, maybe episode number 10. And Marina was our first guest on my call-in radio show on WBAI. And she did, in fact, teach me PPE, one of those three-letter words that became so important during this crisis, along with PPP for Paycheck Protection Program, 
PPE for the gear that we all, personal protection equipment that we talked about. So many things I wish we never had to learn, but we have been forced to learn because of the pandemic. And Tom says, hello. Uh, Tom, folks, is at CNN, is Fareed Zakaria's executive producer and dear friend and fabulous. Uh, and uh, thank you so much, Tom, for your leadership in our business and for being a dear friend and great supporter of all, all the things that we do. Really appreciate it. From Tom to Tim, yes, uh, our friend Tim McDonald from uh, Florida, uh, and it, I I turned on the captions, and um, uh, I think for Marie for Sujana, it thought you were um, Sherry. For Tim, it thinks you're a tree. Um, but we'll we'll see how it goes for the rest of the uh, the captions. Hey Sheree, it's Tim McDonald. Just wishing you a very happy 50th birthday. Welcome to the club, my friend. Um, I just want to say. What a great person you are, so giving, so sharing, and always doing things for others. I'm so glad that we first connected in uh, New York when I was there. I remember that uh, social media one night stand. I think it was the first time ever at Columbia that I got to meet you in person. And then ever since then, we've just you've reminded me so much about how we matter, what we do, and who we are matters and just want to thank you so much for everything you've done for me over the years and look forward to all you are doing and continued success and supporting you in any way i can so enjoy a fantastic 50th birthday love you my friend take care Shri. and we love you tim thank you so much tim mcdonald we met when he was the community manager at huffington post and n nobody knows how to bring together a community uh, and serve up a community the way he does. And he has a he has speaking.biz, which is an, uh, a company that teaches people how to have their own speaking business. So please do check that out. And he's T.A. McDonald on Twitter. And uh, I, uh, I'm i going to keep uh, working through these videos, Shri. Uh, we have several of our Digimenters colleagues still to come on, on video and still one more guest backstage. Uh, at least one more guest uh, that we want to uh, uh, show you. So here's Peter Knox. So I met Sri back in 2006 when he came to Columbia to lecture to my uh, Columbia publishing course, of which I was a student. Following the course, I followed him right away, and then I got into publishing and worked my way through for 14 years. Now I'm head of marketing and book highlight, and I'm honored to be able to work with him and his team on virtual launch videos. And I wish him a very happy birthday and many more birthdays to come. May they all be streamed on video for us all to enjoy. Thank you, Shri. Happy birthday. I love seeing you work and, and seeing you every day doing it. So congratulations and cheers. Thank you, Peter. Peter Knox, uh, amazing. Uh, to have these connections, and this is what we learned that it's all about. Uh, uh, you know, everything we do is about relationships, and life is really about that. I'm very grateful. Shristi says, uh, "Am Swami uh, here?" Sorry about that. All um, right, we have someone else uh, who I recognize the voice. Absolutely, uh, we have um, uh, Mr. Rangaswamy who is going to join us uh, on video in just a moment. There we go. Um, Mr. Rangaswamy here, wishing you a happy birthday. If you remember, we met 20 years ago when you were 40 years old to start in diaspora, and you helped me heck of a lot there, and I want to be thankful for that. But also what I really admired about you was that you needed no quid pro quo. But I'm going to do it anyway. There's a $2 bill coming in the mail or through Venmo or PayPal. Just keep a lookout for it. And also loved your warm hospitality when we came to visit you in Puerto Rico. Please send us another round trip ticket. We'll be there for your 60th this time. But in any case, I want to wish you and the family uh, a great day today in celebrating your birthday. Happy birthday, many happy returns, all the best. Amazing. Uh, Mr. Rangaswamy is an amazing man. Uh, many of you know him uh, from the work he has done uh, within Diaspora. We are honored that once a month, we're able to do a show with just him uh, for all of us. Uh, so please do check that out. But uh, MR has also, uh, through in diaspora, done amazing things, including hosting the uh, the Indi Indian American inaugural ball, which no one had done before. He also helped bring to, to life the Diwali, um, the, uh, the, the Diwali stamp. Everybody 
knows that um, you know there there is now a Diwali stamp that you can get. Uh, but uh, Mr. was the person who made that happen. I um, I have here uh, a photo of of us uh, back in the day uh, when we went to. I, I have it. Uh, if 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 Neil can pull it up, uh, a photo of Mr. and me at his beautiful home in San Francisco, and um, it, it is uh, also. Um, uh, he was featured, as you can see in this photo when Neil brings it up, from uh, on the Wall Street Journal front page of the Wall Street Journal. He was featured uh, with a woodcut in the Wall Street Journal, and they talked about a new kind of investor in America that they hadn't talked about on the front page of the Wall Street Journal before, an angel investor. So when the Wall Street Journal in 1997 decided to write about angel investing on the front page, an article written by Stephanie Mehta, um, that was uh, written and shown uh, by uh, no. that was um, uh, that was a article by Stephanie Mehta, who's now the editor in chief of Fast Company magazine. What a small world! And uh, super delighted to uh, see uh, M. R. Rangaswamy with us. And Girish, great to see your comments as well. And I see Therese Steiner. Hi, Therese. Yes, sorry, Shri, I wasn't sure where that picture was. So it's, on, uh, it's, on, it's right behind on on my. Oh, you screen shared. Oh, you didn't. You mentioned screen share. There you go. That's there you the go. picture you were talking about. Yeah, that's that's me and Mr. And that's Mr. On the front page of the Wall Street Journal, uh, in that famous woodcut about angel investors. It was so new they put angel investing in quotes in the New wow. York Times. Uh, wow. I mean, in the Wall Street Journal, and that's what we're seeing. But I see you brought Therese uh, on video yes. as well. Hi, Therese. Hi, Sri. It's Therese. I'm wishing you a glorious, happy, wonderful 50th birthday from where I am today in Redondo Beach, California. I think we first met at the one of the social media one night stands at Columbia School of Journalism many, many moons ago. And as you know, I've been a fan ever since. You have enriched my life as you've enriched so many others. And I wish you a birthday filled with love, joy, family, friends, and continuing passion for everything just in the world. Happy birthday, Sri. Therese Steiner is an amazing human being who uh, has, he was involved in many, many great causes, including Justice Aid Forum. And uh, we've done things, lots of things together. And uh, uh, I am so honored to know her, like all of these folks. Uh, thank you so much. I'm really overwhelmed. I can't tell you uh, what this means to me. Um, and uh, so I'm going to uh, uh, close it out by sharing uh, videos from our Digimenters team members. Um, so the first one that I want to show you was from Julia Weeks. She works on the, uh, she's on Call Show and the New York Times Read Along uh, and is with uh, AP Images. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Shri. Happy birthday to you. Sending you all the well wishes and positive vibes and hope we can celebrate IRL soon. Happy birthday, Shri 50. Woo! <laughs> and uh, those captions work out pretty well. Uh, Julia Weeks is an amazing colleague and friend. She had me talk at uh, the AP Women's Group uh, just last week. It was very wow. sweet. To, to let me do that, uh, it really meant a lot. So thank you so much uh, to Julia and uh, for teaching me so much about how to do uh, social and images, especially. Uh, thank you very much. And, and uh, here's uh, Steph. <laughs> Steph, Steph. Uh, when we're talking about images, we talk about our friend, uh, uh, Stephen Kaplan with uh, Spin It Social. The, he has his own weekly show uh, and uh, worked at the New York Times for a number of years, a great photographer uh and uh just a great friend uh to a lot of folks uh he wanted to wish you a happy birthday as well wow sweet my man the big five oh is finally here bon anniversaire mon ami you take care we love you and he even busted out the french for you yes Henry. yeah people people will be surprised at how great his french is he went to french school he has an, a great story a true new yorker and a great friend. Uh, we have Paula Kiger. Um, there she is in full screen. 
Hey Shri, happy birthday. We met when I friended you on Facebook because I had read your article about being fired from the Met. And one thing led to another and here we are being partners on the great adventure of the New York Times read along among other things. I'm so happy you have your own big green pen now. As you know, the hashtag is write optimistically and there's no one more equipped than you to share a message of optimism. Thank you again for all you've done for me personally and for your friendship. I hope it's a wonderful birthday. And here is, here's the card she sent me and the pen she sent me, big green pen because she's an editor and a dear friend to um, to be with us, you know, this is as I, I, keep, saying, I keep saying, I'm so angry about uh, various aspects of the coronavirus um, and all the death, all the pain. Uh, she mentioned my losing my job at the Met. I can tell you that I know what it's like for one person to lose their job, how it affects their immediate family, how it affects people around them. Our dry cleaner got less work because I was out of work. And then to imagine 20, 30, 40 million people out of work in this country, underemployed, unemployed, uh, so unacceptable in every single way. And uh, um, thank you, Paula, for being part of our lives. And thank you for this beautiful card uh, that you sent me. Um, it's great, great. And Samia says happy birthday. And Samia, you, you met her and uh, our, our, our friends are earlier as well uh, in the video they sent us, my neighbors. Our next uh, uh, set of remarks is from someone in the witness protection program. Uh, actually, it's it's our friend Jenny Lazarus. I'm teasing her a little bit. Um, she she did want to uh, redo the video, Shri, with better lighting, uh, but is uh, dealing with some some uh, uh, personal issues today and just was not able to do it. But I know that uh, she wanted to wish you well for Shri 50 as well. Hi, Shri. Wishing you a very, very happy 50th birthday. What a big milestone. Amazing, I'm sure, for you to look around and see all that you've accomplished in the short 50 years you've been on Earth, from your wonderful family and wife to all of your career successes and all the people's lives that you've touched along the way, including me, who is just a young graduate student back in New York, Columbia University, 2001, 9-11 class, who caught on to everything you were doing and knew from that moment that there would be a lot more incredible things to come from you over the years. I'm glad I stuck around to bring me to the moment today where we get to work together on a regular basis. Wow, thank you so much, Jenny. Uh, has been a friend for 20 years, and uh, yes, uh, she's our VP of biz, uh, biz Dev and Strategy, and we work together every single day. Uh, this is, I mean, I mentioned this earlier that life is really about relationships, and uh, to have her and all these people you see who are in these videos, it means so much to me that I get to do that. Uh, I've never been so honored to work with Happy birthday. Who, who, who push me every day, uh, and I'm so grateful. One last video, Shri, um, our friend Carla Barnakis. Happy birthday, Shri, or should I say happy birthday? <laughs> and happy I birthday. am here with what I think is your least favorite ceiling fan uh, to wish you uh, many happy returns and to thank you for teaching me everything I know about digital. I hope in return I maybe have helped you learn one or two things about dogs. And I hope uh, Tara thinks so too. But anyway, I hope you have a wonderful birthday. And remember, the first 50 years are the hardest. The next 50 should be much easier. Happy birthday. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Carla. Carla Baranakis, former copy chief, a national copy chief of the New York Times, good friend who delivers the most unbelievable guests uh, for the New York Times read along every Sunday and for our other shows. I'm looking on here, Harlan Coben, number one, bestseller in the New York Times is three movies on three shows on Netflix. He was on the New York Times read along this summer. Matt Goldman was in the New York Times read along. Um, amazing mystery writer. Happy birthday, Shri. Uh, or should and I say and uh, here is Cornelia Dean making sense of science. Uh, she was science editor of the New York Times. She was on the New York Times read along. I also have somewhere here 
the book um, uh, about uh, uh, by Trish Hall about how to convince people uh, and how to write great opinions and the importance of persuasion. And she was also a guest delivered by the great Carla Baranakis. And uh, everyone, Carla has an amazing newsletter. You want to sign up for it. It's called The Local Connection. Just search for it. It'll help you. Even if you're not a journalist, it'll help you understand local journalism and local stories in context for whatever is happening nationally and globally. Happy birthday, Shri. Is that just your rendition of uh, a heavily accented uh uh, greeting? Uh, I just, I don't know. I've, I've been writing that on Facebook for many you, years. You've been doing that for many years. Yeah. Um, there are two more guests that we'd like to to bring um, that have been waiting very patiently. Uh, and I'm going to start. Hour and a half. With yeah. Wow. Hour and a half. I, I did my best, Shree. This is one of your uh, marathon shows. Uh, I always criticize you for that. And uh, I realize how hard it is to keep uh, things moving. But there's uh, one person who has watched. Um, Every show you've done, Jonathan Borstein. Um, Jonathan, thank you so much for being here today. It wouldn't be a Shri COVID-19 call. It wouldn't be a special with, uh, with guests uh, if you weren't on it, Jonathan. Uh, thank you. If I had any decency, I'd blush. Uh, however, <laughs> um, how I met Shri, well... Uh, I'm somewhat older than he was. Uh, I, I is uh, not anymore. Um, <laughs> now we're in the same age bracket. Uh, no, not quite. I was in your, what your age bracket now when we first met in uh, ASJA uh, conference where you taught a seminar that I found so fascinating, so informative that I signed up for your list, and I've taken just about every other seminar, weekend course you've taught over the years, everything I know about social media, um, basically I, I owe to you. Um, as far as 232 shows go, uh, low those many months ago, seven and a half, I think, um, when it was on Uber conference, I hadn't a clue where this was going, uh, but I remember that and social media weekend changing over to a digital format and it was wonderful to see it grow into a global business and wonderful to see you know the fact that this show reaches what two million people uh it, it, the it's just phenomenal uh and i'm so so happy for you and to have a small part of it and uh one last thing there will be a nutella cake in your future Oh, okay. Uh, Jonathan and I talked this morning. He called for my birthday very kindly. And uh, I asked him the Nutella Cafe where we're supposed to go uh, for a, a lunch date or dinner date. Uh, we uh, didn't know if it was still running, but I guess that's his way of telling me that it is still open. So, uh, no, I don't know that. But I do oh, you don't know that part. Okay. So, some kind of Nutella cake, either at the Nutella Cafe or somewhere else, I'm gonna get a Nutella cake. So no, I found out that there's a form of tiramisu with Nutella that is called baba tiramisu. Okay. So if, if worse comes to worse, it's a baba tiramisu. Okay, I'll, I'll take it, I'll take it. Again, happy birthday. Many thank happy you so birthday. much, you're, you're an amazing friend, thank you. Thank Jonathan, you. thank you, thank you so much for, for joining us. Uh, really appreciate it. Uh, Neil, do you know it, these all kind of, I, I, I wasn't sure, some of these people, are they live? Are they recording? Of course, Jonathan was live, but it just all, the way this technology works is so amazing. Uh, yeah, even though there's a play button, uh, Shri. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but it's been it, it's been really great to be able to, to have that mix of, of people that are live, people that are coming in. Um, I would like to, uh, before we bring, we'll have Vandana and Rose join us before we officially close. Um, but I think uh, I would like to have our last official guest uh, join us. And uh, I, I, I waited till the very end. I'd like to think I saved the best for last. Um, and uh, I, I appreciate this person's patience and uh, hanging with us. Um, this person has hung with us um, over several months. You're starting to laugh. So I'm guessing you know Rupa. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Rupa. Thank you, thank you, thank you for so much for everything. Uh, thank you. 
I'm so glad he Sri is blessed in his friends. I think he's um, he is a great friend to the world, but I think um, it's wonderful when I see the 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 love, the affection, the joy that uh, you all bring to him. So thank you. <laughs> Oh, that's so great. Rupa, you knew about all of this and you took it from me. <laughs> well, no, I, I did very little. I, I basically allowed um, allowed your wonderful friends to continue doing whatever they wanted to do. Uh, and, uh, and and basically, oops. Uh, did we lose? Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay. So I was just saying, I, I, all I did was... Um, was allow them to do whatever they wanted to do. And, uh, you know, I, um, Rose, I know Rose wanted me to make sure to show everyone the cake. The problem is every time I try to take the cake out, Tara wants to get a bite of it. So, um, sorry, Rose, I can't bring the cake out. It's um, <laughs> I, I, the only other option would be to watch me get mauled by Tara. But, um, <laughs> but thank you all. It's been, it's been so nice to see how the whole, um, the whole community come together. Uh, this is a very special guy. Happy birthday, Sri. Um, we all love you. Well, you, you, Rupa, you engineered multiple surprises. I hope this is the very end of it because we're <laughs> out of time on this day. I, I felt a little sorry for myself last week thinking uh, if, it was very selfish of me to think that, oh, woe is me. My 50th birthday is gone. We were going to do multi-country party. I and know. you exceeded everything that I could have hoped for, including a party in the park and these amazing blankets you had made uh, and all our friends coming together for that, a Zoom call, uh, the amazing day you gave me today and then to top it off here tonight, thank you so much, love you. And I wanna say this to everybody, not just because Rupa is amazing and and uh, my my twins who turned 17 in the pandemic have uh, have been so supportive, but everyone who has been supportive of everybody else's family members as we try to work through the pandemic and help each other. It's so important. Um, and in our house, Rupa, while doing her amazing job that she does, uh, changing jobs in the middle of the pandemic, still manages to take on most of the burden of, uh, of, of taking care of the home and cooking and all of that. She does that with that smile you see all the time. Well, and, stop. This is about you, Sri. This is this is your birthday. This is about you. And I, but I thank really you for 21 to... amazing years. And our anniversary uh, was this past weekend. And I'm so blessed to have Rupa, Durga, Krishna, and Tara in my life. Uh, and uh, I wouldn't want to. And I wouldn't want to quarantine with anybody else. So thank you all. Love you. And thank you, team. Thank you, Rose Vandana, Neil. Thank you so much for making all of this happen. Rene, so many wonderful people bringing, bringing such wonderful joy to us. Thank you. Rupa, thank you. Thank, thank you so Goodbye. much, Rupa. It, time, by the way. it is totally, totally. I'm, I'm just hanging in here. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Rupa. We will, we will let you, you go. And, um, uh, Sri, we'll just bring back Rose and Vandana, uh, bring Vandana in and, and we want Rose. So this is the equivalent when you're on stage, when you finish a, a performance and you're trying to bring the staff back in, Rose, come back, come back, Rose, come back to the studio. We want to bring you back uh, onto the screen. Um, Rose and Vandana, uh, Shri, happy birthday. Um, this was the only way that, that I knew to, um, to celebrate your birthday and to, uh, and to do it, do it right. Um, whether we had a moved. pandemic or not. Moved. I got to say, uh, I know Rose, uh, I mean, um, Neil was trying to do a live stream of the Center Park socially distant party and was thwarted by various people. So not I not thwarted. Uh, we found a better way of doing yeah, it. Yeah, I was going to say, you found a better way than that. So uh, thank you, uh, uh, as always, for uh, coming in and helping, and not just helping, but driving something. And here's Rupa has arrived uh, in our bedroom. I have a space of <laughs> 53 inches by 46 inches where I'm I'm constrained, but this is also our bedroom, so she needs to uh, get a chance to go to bed. The but, balloons uh, don't fit there. The balloons <laughs> don't fit. Wait. She caught a cat nap earlier, Shree. She's good for a little bit. Yeah, um, <laughs> exactly. But thank you, all three of you. Happy and birthday. Watched it. Happy birthday. So Happy birthday, Shree. From thank all you. of us, from Alan and, and uh, all the kids. I think and, a few of them uh joined in tonight to see so happy happy thank you and, and, from, uh, 
and we owe lots to the to Alan and the fa Rose's family because uh, Alan's been a guest on the show. The kids have uh, made sure that Rose has the right tech for us, and then the whole family named the She's on Call show, which Rose is a producer of. So it's all in the family at the uh, Katz Horowitz home. I'd be remiss. Uh, Pam wanted to wish you a happy birthday as well, uh, and um, you know we can't thank you enough. Uh, of course my making the decision to move, leave United Way and join DigiMentors full time. Uh, and, uh, you know, this is just an incredible commitment, the faith that you uh, showed in me and the uh, the partnership we have. So thank you for that, Shri. Yeah. Um, um, this couldn't be, couldn't be better. Thank you. And it's, uh, it's amazing if I can yeah. just say, Neil, thank you for being part of our family and our families. Uh, working even closer together. Uh, speak your families. I even got to. I got a wish from uh, AK Men and uh, uh, Dad. Who? Yeah, my parents uh, just texted me to say wish wish she from us. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much. I, I, appreciate, I appreciate. Thank it you very much. We'll give you the stage, Shri, and let you say goodbye. I, all, all I can say is thank you, uh, everybody who's in America. Please vote. Uh, one of the things that we have learned on the show by talking to people for um, 100 and I mean 232 days, uh, 420 plus guests on this show, another 30, 40 guests on the New York Times read along. That's five close to 500 people plus my uh, weekend show on the radio. Is the importance of fighting for the rights that we have in this country and and uh, taking care of each other and being there for each other and uh, making sure that we support. Uh, those amongst us who have the least rights and the least platforms, the smallest platforms, if we can give them our platforms and we can share. Uh, we are about to hit the 250, 250th episode uh, around November 15th or so. We will hit that. And that'll be an opportunity for us to think about what we do uh, going forward with the show. And we would love your input on where we go. Do we make it twice a week? three times a week, something like that, rather than every single day. Uh, I, I couldn't have done this without this incredible team working with me every day, Rose and Vandana, and our whole team at DigiMentors who inspire me and push me and drive me every day. So thank you very much, everybody. Thank you for watching. I'm so grateful. Great comments coming in. I'll have to go back and read all of these. Uh, one of the things, Neil, and everybody, you know what happens on birthdays is that uh, your Facebook gets flooded and you don't get to thank every single person properly. So I'm thanking all of you who did participate in the show. It's super meaningful to me and I'm super grateful. So thank you. And uh, I'll say goodbye, I guess. Uh, thanks everybody. <laughs>